is we're going to go and look at this problem, and uh, what I'm asking you to do is define the area, or I'm sorry, the surface area. So the first thing, ladies and gentlemen, that I think is the easiest is to find the area of the base, right? Yeah. Everybody should know how to find the area of the base. That's a, this is a regular pencil, this is regular, so therefore all the sides in the directions, it says this is a regular um, pentagonal base, or I'm sorry, a regular polygon base. So therefore, if one side is two, all the sides are two, right? Because remember, regular polygons have exactly the same size of sides and of angles. So if that's two, everything's two. So two, 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 two. So the area of this base is just going to be base times height, right? Which is four meters squared, all right? Now, I tear apart each one of the sides because I need to find the lateral surface area. Now, it says that the bait from the base to the top, going across there, not to the center, but from the, the length of this side is going to be 5 meters. So therefore, would it make sense then I can do this and say that length right there is 5? And is that going to be the same for all of them? Yeah. OK. So remember, this, all add up all these sides is what we call the lateral surface area. And the lateral surface area is equal to 1 half perimeter times the height, where that represents the height of your sides. So now let's find the perimeter. Remember, the perimeter is adding up all the sides. 2, 4, 6, 8. So 1 half times 8 times 5. And these are all in meters. So therefore, this is 20 meters squared is my lateral area. Now remember to find the surface area. All I'm simply doing is adding up the lateral area plus the base. So my lateral surface area is 20 meters squared plus my area of my base, which is 4 meters squared. So therefore, this is 24 meters squared. Anybody have any questions, preguntas on that information? You will be asked to know how to do this stuff.